All right, guys. Well, it's middle of the season. I've gotten a ton of time on my lightweight 900 boost build for this season. And I wanted to take just a couple minutes. I get a ton of asks for this of what are all the nitty gritties and the details about the sled. So um, let's just start off uh, right at the top here. So again, second year running uh, the zero composite, all carbon fiber hood. Uh, this year uh, with the added storage compartment, it's super cool. Um, the, the hood is not only light, but extremely strong. Uh, you guys might remember my fail Friday clip the other day. Yeah, that basically landed square on uh, the hood and uh, nothing happened. So that was pretty cool. Um, next, uh, you guys know I love the words carbon fiber and titanium. So uh, Diamond S titanium silencer. Uh, this is something, again, that uh, loses a bunch of weight, sounds good, and just rips on the sled. The uh, if you look at, take a peek in here, uh, I'm running the straight line performance uh, intake. Uh, basically, I guess you can call it a boot, uh, both on uh, the intake side and uh, the the opposite side. So under certain conditions, you can get the sled really hot and angry. Uh, so this is a little bit more robust of a material than the stock one. And when you're sucking all of that air, uh, this just being a little bit stouter, uh, won't have the tendency of sucking in. So running that gear up kit, everyone's like, what? Wait, I don't see a gear up kit. So, um, QD2 is awesome. I'll just start with that. And I have boost sleds in the fleet that I ride a lot that have QD2 and I love, but with the extra power of the 900, I felt in many situations that I was kind of geared out in certain uh, situations, especially on those high speed climbs. So what I have here is the Kurtz Polaris gear down kit, which is in between a QD2 and a QD1 ratio. So um, the system is a little bit lighter. I do like uh, that the belt is a little bit more limber as well than the stock belt. But again, QD2 is awesome. Uh, I run it a lot, uh, but I run uh, the Kurtz kit on this sled. Of course, Fox shocks, uh, but I, uh, and then again, this is my second year in a row and after last year, and especially after this year, I will never go non-electric again. Uh, the IQS is just a game changer. I change it 50 times, 100 times a day because it's easy. And I love what it does um, on one party mode, on lockout, get crap done mode. So really cool. You guys noticed at the beginning of the season I had um, uh, carbon sleds, carbon front end on uh, my sled. And I did get a few rides on those. And then I found a tree that was... Uh, would have bent a stock arm, but I ended up uh, breaking the, the carbon arm. The couple days that I had on them, what's really cool about them, it, they're stock geometry, but ended up being between the spindle and the arms, half the weight of stock. So curious to see where he goes with it. It was really cool to be able to use it. Um, and uh, But again, I am hard on stuff, which is why he sent it to me to, to try it. But um, pretty exciting and uh, looking forward to see what he does with that in the future. Alternative impact spindles, been running those for quite a while. Um, a pound each side, which is huge. Uh, carbon fiber skid, of course, that's something that I like 10 years in a row now, carbon skid, IQS in the rear. Uh, uh, for air intake stuff, I am running the Boondocker Breathe Right system in conjunction with the Fire and Ice. Uh, just this beast needs air and, uh, this system works really well. Some, uh, couple one-off things, uh, the skins 9.5 tank. Um, I have had to take that off of a couple different sleds now over the last two years, because, uh, unfortunately is it such a, uh, labor intensive product that skins no longer carries that, but, uh, I love the i love the feel of it i love that the oil bottle is integrated into it so uh I be, i'm able to lose a bunch of weight uh with the kit and get that oil bottle away from the the top of the clutches so 9.5 gallon seat and tank titanium skins bars heated brake lever gauntlets handlebar bag those are all the essentials come over to this side real quick and again um I can't really take much credit for this, uh, Kyle and TJ and everyone has had their hand in building this thing. 
um, uh, something that literally goes on every one of my snowmobiles is Patrick Custom Carbon Clutches. So on the Boost, I am running the P22 with uh, that's lightened and, I'm sorry, the P22 is balanced, but the secondary clutch, we still can get a pound off of it being lightened and balanced as well. So Patrick Custom Carbon Clutches, as you can see, no oil bottle because it's in my tank. I'm also running the Mountain Tech Blowhole. Uh, I've been riding with this for about three weeks now and it's awesome. Uh, literally, when you start the sled after it's been sitting, getting someone unstuck and you can see, like literally put your hand up it, warm your goggles, warm your gloves, you know like it's extracting warm air out of the engine compartment. So I've uh, been liking that. Here's the Fox IQS setup here. Alternative impact tie bolt kit for both the engine and the chassis. Um, DuraPro ski rubbers, DuraPro magnetic tether for how many times we get on and off the sled. I love that Polaris comes with a tether now, but to literally just sit here and then like fling it on um, hundreds of times a day, it seems like uh, the DuraPro tether is uh, is awesome there. And then, you know, to kind of cap it all off, uh, just Arctic FX doing an absolute insane job with the 900 boost storm uh, replica edition. I absolutely love it. Um, this, uh, this sled, I've built some cool ones. The XLT last year was a little lighter. I had some, uh, a few additional components on it and a, a couple bolts, but from a motor standpoint, this thing is just, it's un freaking real. Um, I, I love how fast it is. It's obviously light. It's about 47 pounds off of a stock boost where last year's was about 50. So, um, still pretty insane snowmobile and, uh, just uh, I am a very fortunate person to be able to ride stuff like that. I hope uh, I hope this uh, is uh, is what you guys were looking for. A quick walk around on the sled, the components that are uh, on it, and uh, I can't thank everybody enough, especially you know Kyle for putting all the time and effort into doing this, and then uh, all of my all of the people who help me ride snowmobiles like this with such cool parts. So um, yeah, feel free to hit me up if you have any questions. But in the end. Uh, a 900 lightweight titanium carbon boost sled. I'm a pretty lucky dude.